What's going on everybody? Welcome back to DevSolves. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can ensure that your career is safe in coding for the future. Now, when we think about programming, we're thinking about future-proof careers, a career that'll last us a long time. You don't wanna go learn all the skills it takes to get into programming just to not have a job for a very long time. So it takes having a solid understanding of adaptation in order to ensure that your career is safe for the longevity. And that's what this video is gonna be premised around. It's gonna be pretty short, it's gonna be pretty sweet, because we don't really have a whole lot of new things that you need to be worried about coming in, except one major thing, and that's what we're gonna spend most of the time talking about. So let's dive right in. So a lot of things in the coding landscape are constantly changing. You have new technologies being introduced, you have new frameworks and platforms, you have new languages that are coming out that look like they can be the successors of other languages and whatnot. And you're, sometimes as a programmer, it can be really overwhelming and really confusing as to what exactly you need to be focusing on. Recently, more than ever, and unless you're living under a rock, you've probably heard of what's been going on in the tech landscape, because this is not only affecting programming, it's affecting tech across the board. And that's artificial intelligence artificial intelligence. Now, AI has become something that has just blown up over the past, over the course of, I would say, one to two years is when it's become really popular and mainstream. Ever since the release of ChatGPT, we've been seeing AI pick up more and more traction, and it's becoming more popular in the tech realm. And for programmers, it became something that was very almost terrifying to say the least. It was something that was scaring a lot of people and thinking like, oh my gosh, like programming is gonna take over coding jobs. Programming is gonna take over everyone's job. Programming is going to make robots that are going to be working the drive-throughs in the next freaking two months. Now, while we're seeing some things like that happen across the globe, it's safe to say that, that none of, nothing like that is gonna be happening for a while. It's gonna take some time to get there. But something like software engineering, for example, was a big thing that people were really worried about, you know, programming taking over. And I'm here to kind of not necessarily debunk that, but just show you how to work around that. That way you can ensure that you're having a safe and stable career. It's all about shifting the lens. Right now we're looking at AI like the enemy, like the enemy. AI is going to take my job. AI, I need to stay away from it. Everyone needs to stay away from AI. I want us to shift the lens a bit and think about how we can use AI to our advantage to make our jobs and careers a lot easier. You see, artificial intelligence isn't gonna go anywhere and it's only going to improve with time. So as a programmer, you need to be able to adapt to that change and be able to embrace AI and see how it can make your life easier. For example, a lot of people are using things like GitHub Copilot to help make tasks easier to accomplish. They're finding that they can automate repetitive tasks with AI, that way they don't have to do it by hand. And these are things everyone need to be keeping on their mind. Now, when we take a look at things like Devon, that seems to be releasing pretty soon. Devon is like the age old, like, oh my gosh, like this is what's going to replace programmers. And as a programmer looking to survive in the tech landscape, you need to adapt and shift your mentality and say, okay, how can I use Devon to make my job easier? See, AI isn't going to replace developers, but what it will replace is subpar developers who don't have any drive to learn anything when it comes to coding. They stick with just HTML, CSS, and they call it good. They stick with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and they call it good. They don't expand their knowledge and skill sets outside of that. Now, these are the jobs that AI is going to be replacing, maybe not right now, but in the near future. So as a developer, you need to be able to adapt to the change. Say, okay, I need to learn React frameworks. I need to learn how to work with APIs. I need to learn how to do X, Y, Z. All of these new things that are very important. And you need to constantly be learning new things and the new things that are coming out and evolving the industry themselves. For example, AI and artificial intelligence. If this is what the industry is demanding for and this is what the industry is leaning towards, as someone, as a programmer, as a problem solver, you need to be leaning towards that as well. Now keep in mind, this doesn't mean get flashy, right? You don't wanna jump from other things, you don't wanna jump from one thing straight to another because it seems to be what's trending. There's a big difference between what's trending and what's legitimately changing the industry. For example, if I see that Go seems to be a very popular platform and I'm still not very proficient in coding, I don't need to go and jump into Go expecting to learn so much from there because yeah, while Go is a new language and Go is something that's you know trending and popular, it doesn't mean that it's like changing the industry. There's a big difference between learning something that's just trending and shiny versus learning something that you legitimately need to learn in order to survive in an industry. So keep in mind the difference is there and don't use this as an excuse to go out and learn something just because it's trending. 
AI, on the other hand, is something that is legitimately changing the industry. So instead of looking at it as like, oh my gosh, like I need to stay away from AI, start looking at how you can use it to your advantage to make your job and life a lot easier. Download GitHub Copilot. Take a look at Devin. Take a look at ChatGPT and how it can make your life easier. Don't be discouraged by these new things that are coming out and changing the industry. Because if we look backwards, we said the same thing about no code solutions. When it came to things like Squarespace and WordPress, we were worried, hey, these things you know, are making websites without code. This might take my job. But in reality, it did it. It just made people's lives easier. In fact, it made developers' lives easier when it came to like, you know, getting freelance projects or practicing with code or doing like micro code solutions and things along those lines. So look at AI with the same lens. It's not gonna replace your job. It's not gonna replace you as a programmer. The only way it will is if you are too afraid to adapt to change. And this is an ever evolving industry. So if you're in it to become a programmer, you need to understand that you're in it for change. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button. I know it was pretty short, but I wanted to get kind of straight to the point there and dive in on this topic. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks.